All right, here we've got a nub, a nodule, a polypoid nodule on the, the finger or toe, and it's acral skin, and it's dense, dense collagen in the dermis, some dilated vessels, nothing else, very little cellularity. So what's this? Yeah, acquired digital fiber keratoma, very good. And these to me look almost identical to angiofibromas, periungual fibromas, which are to me like angiofibromas that you see in tuberous sclerosis. So the biggest thing that helps there, I think, is I don't know how to reliably make that diagnosis. If you tell me a person's got multiple little nodules around their fingernail, that's probably periungual fibromas. The other thing is that the sequelae of tuberous sclerosis, the latest thing to develop is the, the periungual fibromas. Usually the patient already is known to have tuberous sclerosis by the time they start developing those. So, but I used to worry about that. Oh, what if I'm missing this? And then I, someone published a paper about that and I thought that was helpful. Acquired digital fibrokeratoma. And if you start seeing more spindle cells and myxoid stuff, you can think of other weird acral spindle things like superficial or digital acral fibromyxoma and just send it to a soft tissue pathologist at that point if you don't want to mess with it. Okay. 